How do you get lots of work in the fall, the last month of the season? So you stay busy all the way until it snows. What's up, it's Keith Kelfis. I'm on a job site right now and it's fall. So here's some of the things that you can do to keep your schedule packed all the way to the end if by chance you're short on work. Uh, aside from the services of you know, in the property maintenance business that we're in, doing fall cleanups, gutter cleaning, Christmas light installation, um, final tree trimming and shrub trimming, or any late landscape jobs you might have, how do you keep your schedule booked? Um, one is going through, the most powerful thing that you can do is going back to all of your old customers and pre-existing customers and clients and just making an offer and offering offering them the service. So if you have all your customers numbers stored and synced to your email address, um, one thing you can do is you can text them all. You can okay, first you can sit down and you can sit down for six or eight or ten hours straight and just one at a time make a list and go through and call all of them and leave all them messages. Like sales, right? Hey, it's so-and-so, it's so-and-so, property maintenance scene. If you want to get the fall cleanup, you want to get on the schedule, offer it to them. They're busy. They need it done. They'll be like, oh, yeah, 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 we do need that done. Two is you can use a service uh, voicemail bomb. Send Jim has this thing called voicemail bomb where you can uh, upload all your customers' phone numbers, record one message. It all it goes to their voice. There's guys across the street working. Sorry. Every time I make a video, dude, there's some distraction. Anyways. You can send a voicemail message that automatically goes to all their voicemails and the customer thinks that, hey, it's with so-and-so services, uh, seeing if you want your property maintenance, we maintenance your property er earlier, give me a call back or email me, Prrrrp, done. Another thing is there's a text message app that you can import all of your, you can export all of your customer contacts and import them into this app and it'll text message all of your customers a broadcast text message. Another thing is email marketing, uh, MailChimp.com. You can take all your customers' email addresses and send them a fall newsletter with a discount for fall cleanup or something. Another thing that you can do is um, you can pay for Craigslist ads. You can pay for Google ads. You can pay for Facebook ads. You can make posts on Facebook ads. If you download the Google My Business app, they had this update this year that you can create posts and then attach a picture like a fall cleanup and gutter cleaning specials and then put that on there. You can... Yeah, that's a whole bunch of stuff right there. I think if you block the time and sit down, block the time and sit down and contact all your previous customers you've ever done work for and offer them fall services, that's a good way to, to regenerate that list and get warm them up again before another landscaper does and um what else what else oh yeah don't be afraid to contact them often contact them often so with email marketing you get emails in your email inbox all the time right so you could send them an email then another email then another email then another email you could send them three four emails in a week you know reminding them about your services um so that app is called MailChimp. I don't know the name of the text message app. Just look up on your app store text message broadcast. You might have to buy credits or spend $20. It's fine. I remember a few years back, for some reason, we had a lull in the fall. We got really slow. There was no work, and I was nervous. I, I had never been that nervous in a long time. So I sat in the truck for about an hour and a half, and I got all the customers' contacts of, like, uh several thousand people and I, I did the app I think I spent like $35 on credits and I text message all of the customers then I went to MailChimp.com I sent out emails then I went through and started texting all of our best clients and looking through the look through your Google Calendar at where you were last year at this time where were you look where you were the year before oh we did we serviced that Bob Vila guys property last time this year I gotta call that Bob Vila guy. Send Bob Vila a text or call him, right? Um, and then you can see where you were. Where did you leave off last year? Where did you stop? 
Another thing you could do if you don't have a lot of customers or clients, do you have any friends that are landscapers or tree guys? Maybe they need help. Maybe you guys can team up and you could do subcontract work with them. Um, I have a friend here in Michigan who has a tree service uh, business and he's gotten incredibly busy doing commercial work and I think from December 1st until December 15th we're going to be doing subcontract work with him for him trimming trees in an entire condominium complex for two weeks straight and then what I do is I just charge him whatever my day rate is and I show up with all my tools and equipment and it's it's, a, it's another way right it's pretty I, I think it's kind of cool because it's fun teaming up with your friends but um, who can you team up with who can you call so and then another thing is you can analyze the ebbs and flows and cycles in your business when does it get busy? When does it get slow? When does it get busy? When does it get slow? And then we come up with a just kind of a preemptive market, marketing strategy to make sure that doesn't happen. Because you get the lull in your business when you get really burned out. I believe, at least for me, when I get really burned out and I stop trying and I'm just going through the motions. Do you ever do that? Or you're just like, oh, I just got to make it through this day. You stop doing all those extra things that keep your phone to ringing off the hook because you're sick of it, right? Well, you know what happens? It goes like that. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki was talking about marketing and advertising. Never, ever stop. That there's a three-week delay statistically on everything that you market and advertise to when it comes back around and you're actually doing the work or collecting the money. Yay, yay. Oh, bandit signs. You can go on signsonthecheap.com and order a bunch of those bandit signs and stick them all over the place. Go out on the weekend and stick them in all the turnarounds in the major city. And then go Sunday night and pick them back up with your phone number all over the place. I, I just think there's a ton of work out here. And there should be enough to be able to hustle you up until the first snowfall. If you do, do you do snow? Let me know in the comments below. Do you do snow for your own business, or do you subcontract it with another larger company? Um, I, for years, would subcontract for, was it 35 bucks an hour? I'd hop in their trucks and their plows and just go work. If you have your own truck and plow, you could get 75, 80, sometimes even 100 bucks an hour. Or do you have your own snow plowing business? I don't know. I'm not interested in getting into snow plowing as a, as a business. No. Are you? Okay, that's my, my couple tips. Let me know in the comments below. Let's use this video. If you have any really good ideas, put it all below, and then we can read it, and we can all get really, really good ideas of tons of quick, effective ways to drum up work, which is basically just marketing. And you can also have a couple of marketing systems that you set up that whenever you want to you just turn it on like a turnkey and it starts generating leads for you okay uh, I know I have a few of those and whether you turn it on with the switch you turn it on with the button or you put a dollar in the top and three dollars comes out the bottom that's a marketing system so um, I think at the end of the year or around the new year grab a map with a huge calendar and analyze what happened during your year and then you can kind of come up with strategies for each season so let's just say before the fall comes and the leaves are falling um, you could do a whole marketing campaign that advertises you know fall cleanup and gutter cleaning get on the schedule now you know so when you think about it ahead and then you execute in advance you don't get caught up in a position where there's no work all right this is Keith Kelfis and Reporting out. I'm actually sitting on a customer's property because my arms are killing me from trimming those monsters. Later.